Imagine walking outside your own home and not being able to breathe. Dust, polluted air, and the stench of garbage take your lungs for hostage. That's a reality that I and many others had to face while living in Newcastle. This is where I used to live, 806 Anna Avenue. Right across the street from the Nicola Ready Mixed Concrete Plant. This is where local businesses and contractors get their cinder blocks, cement, and other masonry products. The concrete plant is 240 yards long and 107 yards wide, which is the size of two football fields. Half the area is used to dig and graze for rocks, while the other half is where the actual plant creates concrete through the process of mixing water, pulverized rocks, and pressurized air, which all happens in several large silos like this one. This is the major cause of toxic dust emissions in the area, especially when dry mixed cement is being loaded into trucks. To make things even worse, there's a garbage dump site that's less than a quarter mile away, which is literally up the street. The stench of garbage would loom over the town, especially during the summer days when the heat and the humidity amplifies the odor. I back some of my childhood friends and their views and opinions of how the industrial park impacts the community. Hot sunny days in the summertime, on, you're walking home or if your window's down, you really just smell everything and it's always, it's always loud. They try to mask the scent but it does not do anything for it. My main concerns about the industrial park will probably be filth uh, and also air pollution. As a kid, that industrial park meant we couldn't go past the end of the block right here. Whenever we would go out and play as kids, it was either run around on the streets or go to whoever, whoever's parent was the cool parent that day and chill out at their house. As an adult, it's just more traffic, all this heavy machinery blocking up the road now. The fact that it seems there's nothing's getting done, I'm not exactly sure what they do over there or what they're building or what the purpose is, but I haven't seen anything done in the 20 years that I've known that place to be over there. Not only is the dump site up the street from the concrete plant, it's also 300 feet away from Jordan Street, a kindergarten elementary school where small children go outside and play recess. The kids are outside playing while construction is going on, or whatever, whatever exactly that they're doing, they can they can um, intake the, the bad smells, the, they intake the chemicals, they can get sick and nauseous. It's not really a, a, a great environment for kids to be around. It can cause, it can cause a, lot, a lot of um, 
cause a lot of diseases and the pollution can run into our water system. But the scariest part of all is the fact that the garbage dump site is across the street from the town's water tower and the water treatment site is sure a sign of contamination. And that's what exactly happened. In 2010, the EPA found contaminants in pre-treated water from four town of North Hempstead Wells. One of them belonged to the village of Westbury, which Newcastle is a part of. The primary contaminants are VOCs, which are found in industrial products, paints, solvents, disinfectants, and so much more. My aunt, she's been back and forth to the hospital a couple of times now, just a plethora of health problems, my uncle as well. The EPA ruled that years of industrial and commercial activity contributed to the groundwater contamination. Racism seems to be a factor in this, as the industrial park is situated within a black and Hispanic community, but there's no signs of industrial activity in affluent white neighborhoods. I wouldn't be surprised. It's in a community that's mostly black and Latino, two of the most oppressed uh, minorities in this country, argue it if you will. But I have lived in Uniondale for about six, seven years now, one of the wealthiest black communities in America, and I haven't seen anything like that over there. So it could be determined from the wealth gap, could be coincidental. I don't think it's coincidental though. It prob there probably might be due to a fact of racism because over in this part is mainly middle or lower class and not, not a lot of people have that much of an income or they believe that we don't have that much of a, of a voice. Although Wolnick and Cleve had similar views and opinions, my friend Everton had a different perspective, which was interesting. I feel that it's kind of economically efficient to have because um, my family buys certain products from the industrial park. Um, and it's uh, very efficient to have like, you know, a source where you could buy something for a very cheaper price than what is um, offered in the market. And one of the downsides of the industrial park is because the fumes that's emitting from the, from the park is kind of dangerous, even though, even though there's no regulation on them. So I don't think it's a form of racism. I just think that um, they place the industrial park where it is economically efficient for Westbury. Um, to play devil ad advocate, I'm not saying that I would probably place the industrial park there, but to if I was rich and I need to make more money, I would place the industrial park wherever efficient, wherever it's efficient for me and my wallet. After years of promises to petition and remove the industrial park from Newcastle, nothing seems to get done as the community becomes more and more polluted. We never know. We never know what exactly will change, but it won't change unless we actually do something about it. Vote. Get these people out of here. We have a lot of ways to execute our power, but everybody thinks that we're silent. You have a voice. You just got to know how to use it. Things always got to change. Being pessimistic, saying it won't, that's, that's a victim mentality. We can't live like that. If change would happen, people need to get involved and fast. The longer action is taken, the more sick this community becomes. It's time to get rid of the disease instead of fighting the symptoms.